guys, it's Mayu. Welcome back to my vlog. Today, I am going to Kusatsu in Guma Prefecture for the first time in my life. I've been really wanting to go. From Tokyo, I took the local trains for two hours and then took the bus for about 30 minutes. It was freezing, but the snow was really pretty. There are some sort of exhibits inside the igloos. I had a late lunch at an udon place called Matsumoto. Yeah, I know, it looks so good. The noodles are very soft and chewy. The soup is hot but tastes just perfectly good. It looks like a small amount, but I was feeling pretty full. It was definitely worth it. I highly recommend this place. This is the hotel my friend and I are staying for the night. It's called Sakurai, a very traditional place. I chose the plan with an upgraded room at a discount, so we had the biggest room for two people. I am surprised that there is an inner garden with rocks. The view from this room is amazing with the snow on the roofs. I wasn't hungry, but as soon as I found manju, a sweet bun, on the table, I couldn't help it. Now it's time to explore the hotel. At the souvenir shop, you can buy anything like late night snacks and skincare products. I bought some local sweets and drinks. Then we went to see the hot spring source called Yubatake. The dim lights from the traditional hotels around it give a nostalgic atmosphere. Also, I really like how it is illuminated at night with some different bright colors. I kept using the hot water from the onsen because it was freezing and my hands were dying. This foot bath was so relaxing, it took me so much time to finally get out. I was there for like 15 minutes. We have a buffet at the hotel. Everything looks so good. I don't know what to pick. I could try all the food honestly, but somehow my stomach shrunk since the pandemic. I got sushi, miso soup, paella, fried chicken, crab cream, croquette, etc. Oops, I dropped something.
everything was just perfect, especially with beer. This is the croquette. So creamy. I got seconds, of course. This is a roast beef. It is really, really soft. This shrimp tempura is plump. You can even make your own hot pot. Yeah, it was really hot. For dessert, I got ice cream and Mont Blanc. After dinner, there was a performance called Imomi where the hot water is started to lower the temperature at which it could be bathed. The other show was Japanese drums called Taiko. It was so loud that it echoed through my head, but it also resonated with me. This is the second day, it's snowing. Breakfast is gorgeous as always. They cook an omelette and a steak in front of you if you want. I only got a few things because I usually don't eat in the morning. This local gyudon beef bowl was tasteful. This was my first time using this orange juice machine. It was so good. We decided to go sightseeing a little bit. This is what the hotel looks like from the outside. Okay. This is Yubatake during the day. You can even see how hot it is. We're walking past all the shops to get to Saino Kawara Park. We stopped by and had hot spring steamed buns, just like the one I had in the hotel room. It was delicious, so I bought some for my family. This is how they make onsen eggs. I can literally smell sulfur. I didn't know you can just leave the eggs in the hot spring. The street goes all the way to the park where hot springs spring from the ground. Apparently at the end of the park, there is an open-air hot spring where you can enjoy the scenery of Sainokawara Park. Even the river is an onsen.
On the way home, I tried to jump on the snow, but it wasn't soft enough and it was freezing. <laughs> it was a great trip away from everyday life. This is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.